and chill on the couch with us. We're talking to a wonderful actress that's here in Perth to do with a great movie that's coming out very, very soon. In fact, in about a week's time here in Perth. The movie's called Hating Alison Ashley. And we've got one of the lead actresses here with us in Perth. Her name is Saskia Bormeister. I got it right. Yes. Saskia, <laughs> welcome to the couch. Thank you very much. Now, I've asked you today what's it like being in Perth, but you've been yes. at mostly radio interviews today. Yes, and, and in inside the hotel. the hotel. So I haven't seen a lot of Perth. I'm looking forward to it, though. Yep. My first trip here. For those who don't know Saskia, yes. tell us briefly your background. Uh, well, I started uh, basically in television. Guest role, uh, Water Rats, was my very first uh, acting job film in television. And then I did a film called The Pact uh, uh, with Sigrid Thornton and, and Jamie Croft. And then went on and did uh, uh, Junction Boys, which is a telly movie, an American telly movie. And then Ned Kelly is is uh, playing Jane Jones, and a TV show Wicked Science. I'm going through my whole career. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and um, and then Thunderstruck was a film that I did, also um, playing Chloe, and now Hayden Lewis Ashley. How did you score the role in, of Chloe? Of Chloe yep. or Eric Yerkin? Oh. <laughs> well, Chloe was the one you, you played with. Which movie was that one? With, that was in Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck. Now, that was a movie that was done, some of it was done here in Perth. Yes, indeed. That yes. was about the, the ashes of the ACD. Indeed. And yes. uh, of course, our premiere was in that one as well. How Did you come over to Perth for any of the shooting? or did you? I was in yours? Adelaide, actually. Most of my shooting was in Adelaide. I, didn't, I, was, I wasn't fortunate enough to come How to long Perth. ago was that done? Oh, my goodness. A Three. year and a half ago? Two years ago? Two years ago now. Now, I'd assume you'd have a talent manager. How do you know when jobs come up? Do you get told or do you, how do you yes. find out about this? Um, agents come, well, I have an agent. I have an agent here and I have an agent and manager over in the States. Mm -hmm. And they um, call it, give us a call and say, look, this director wants to see you for this project. Um, have a read of the script. And so then we go in and do an audition and hopefully they like us. The role you're playing in this movie, mm -hmm. hating Alison Ashley. Yes. Your title, what's the role? What are you playing in? I play Erica Yerkin, she's the lead, she's the lead role and she, it's basically about her um, living in a fantasy land and she believes that she's this, going to be this famous actress and, and her whole world is tipped upside down when the perfect Alison Ashley played by Delta Goodrum uh, comes and, and she, damn it, damn, yeah, it, <laughs> damn that perfect, perfect, <laughs> no, she's gorgeous. Uh, but Erica has to overcome differences with with Alison to become friends with What's her. What's it like being the lead actress? Because that, that title's a pretty a pretty hot one. You know, when you yes. when you look at titles in the movie, lead actor, lead actress, is it a, is it pretty stoky or? It's it's a big deal, I yeah. have to say. And there's a lot of. I mean, I've been fortunate enough to have worked with some great um, Australian talent in actors and directors and such, and also in Australian. Um, you know, in, in great Australian films. So, uh, being these supporting roles, I've gained knowledge, you know, working with these great people, that when I come on to Hating Alice Nashley and have the lead and have those kind of pressures, I'm able to apply that knowledge you, to it. Do you find it a very different character to yourself, or is there some of yourself being an actor? I, I tend to want to say that I don't identify with Eric Yerkin at all, because she's very... Oh, she's rather bitchy, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. and she has this big facade. So she's not a very is, nice character. Well, she's, you sympathise with her a lot because what she goes through is very, um, very much realistic to, to what teens go through. It's the need for acceptance, and that's the main theme of the film. Uh, so I write and I want to direct. So yes, in that sense, Eric Yerkin and myself are the same, but I tend not to be bitchy, or I hope I'm not. Do you like the movie itself? I mean, do you find that it's very professional? It's. Do you like the director? Did you work well with the director and producers? Oh, director Jeff Bennett is a fantastic actor's director. Um, as I said, this this is yes, it's a very very big deal playing the movie, and and he held my th hand through through every scene and every moment that I tend to sort of live, you know, beneath the skin of my characters and. In a sense, I, 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 you know, I would get emotional when Eric Yerkin gets emotional, Is and it he the was just role? very, yes, because she's she has all these different layers to her, mm. so she's got this 
this facade, which is very melodramatic and a hypochondriac, and underneath she's a little bit depressed. She's so yes, and and she has this side which is very very real and 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 a little bit sad. So it was it was wonderful to play those different is elements. Is there a male role in your life in the movie? In the movie, yeah. a, a male is there role. Is a male companion or uh, is there yes, a love scene? Maybe? Yes, there is indeed, uh, which is not included in the book. It's that's. Okay purely for the film, and that is a love story between Eric Yerkin and Barry Hollis. And Barry Hollis is played by a wonderful young actor, Alexander Capelli, who's up and coming, rising star. How did and you work with him? Did he, was he great. great to work with? Yeah, really great. Alex is this, he's very mysterious, you know, sort of internal, intriguing man. And, and I think that he, when he brought that to, to, uh, to uh, Barry Hollis, he did a fantastic job because Barry Hollis is that typical bad boy and when it has that intriguing mysterious side it, it makes it more interesting for the audience. You know, for those people who say that the film industry in Australia is very quiet, yes. would you say it's not, it, there is still a lot of film and is it great to be working in Australia, your own country? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean we produce such fantastic talent, you know, world class actors and directors, Baz Luhrmann, mm -hmm. Um, Philip Noyce, you know, just to name a few among Nicole Kidman, all of those jazz, you know. Um, yes, it, I mean, it, it is a slow industry, it, it is on the low at the moment. Uh, however, we've got some fantastic films coming up. I'm very yep. proud of Hating Alice and Ashley. However, we've got Kate Blanchett, she's just come back That's to do right. Little Fish. David Wenham's doing um, Three Dollars. It's all, you know, fantastic. Yeah. Are you, um, were you sort of sort of scared to work with Delta Goodrum? What was it like? <laughs> Delta Goodrum. No, not at all actually. I was was uh, away for all the whole um, hype about the film. Mm. I was in Los Angeles and, and I came back and, and I was flown back by the director and, and, and producer to, to start working on it. And the next day from when I fly back, in walks Delta Goodrum into a rehearsal room and I just went, wow. Mm. And she was just so down to earth and lovely and, and we had a you know, bonded really quickly and became great friends and supported each other throughout the whole shoot. Now, do you wonderful. live in Australia? Do you, do you actually live in Australia? Yes, I You're do. You're in Sydney? Or? Yeah, I will always live in Australia. It's just so refreshing, you know. How often do you fly back to the US? Um... Was well, there a lot of work <laughs> there, or is that...? Yeah, look, I, there, I think I think it's very realistic that, that actors in Australia and throughout Europe and, and, and England and such, they they do generally make that transition to the States at some point because there is just a whole world of, of films over there that, that, you know, every dedicated actor wants a piece of. Where to so, from here? Tell me where oh, to. Oh, really? For you. What, what's Saskia doing after this movie? Um, I'm, I'm supporting the release of a film that I did called Jew Boy, which is about the Hasidic Jewish community in Sydney. And uh, I'm reading a bunch of scripts at the moment and I'm deciding Anything what I'm going to do Anything major you can tell us? And it's a secret, maybe? I shall Look out for you. let you know when I'm allowed to, I oh, tell you. Okay. <laughs> with the contract signed. Yes, right. exactly. Well, good luck with the movie. Thank it you is, so of much. course, Hating Alice and Ashley. It's Thank released you. 17th of March. 17th of March. On the big screen, Hoyts, Great yes. Union. All of them have got it. Yes. Look out for Saskia Ballmaster. I got it right. <laughs> Thank you for being on the couch today. Pleasure. And Thank you very much. Thank you very much. much. And just just in five words, maybe or less, describe why people should have to go and watch this movie. What's so good about it? Fantastic. Fun, Delta Goodrum. Great. Saskia. <laughs> um, Saskia Ballmeister. And Love Seeds. Love Seeds. <laughs> yes.